said on the interaction between public policies, migration and development, uh, based on your research, what are some of the emerging challenges that um, you find to establish more coherent policies to strengthen migration and development? Uh, so it's true indeed that we have this uh, big project called Interrelations between Public Policies, Migration and Development in 10 developing countries uh, in Asia, Africa, Latin America. And uh, we, we realize that uh, in many of these countries, uh, they don't see migration as a priority. And, and therefore, what we try to do with this project is to show that migration actually matters and not only for migrants and the families of the migrants but also for the rest of the society and uh, therefore what is important when you talk about policy coherence with the governments with the the policy makers is uh, that they can understand that when you are the ministry of education when you are the ministry of health when you are the ministry of labor and so on and so forth you have uh, a strong link with migration either because uh, your sector is going to be affected by migration by the fact that people leave or arrive by uh, the remittances sent by uh, returning people by the diasporas uh, but also that your policies have an impact on all these areas of, uh, of migration you're doing the research um No, obviously uh, every country is, uh, is different. Uh, we work in Burkina Faso and Cote d'Ivoire and you think there are two uh, French-speaking African countries, neighbor, and everything is so different between these, uh, these two countries. And we also work with uh, Costa Rica, Haiti, uh, the Philippines, uh, Georgia, so uh, you have very different challenges. First, because some countries, they are mostly countries of origin, and other countries are countries of destination. So even that obviously changes the, the perspective. You, you cannot uh, mainstream migration the same way if you are uh, a country of origin or a country of destination. And, and most countries today, to tell the truth, they are both countries of origin and countries of destination. And precisely what we see that the country, they think that if people leave, it's not their problem. Uh, so very few countries have really a coherent policy framework where they try to uh, include migration into their development strategies uh, and when you talk to the Ministry of Education in the countries of origin or the Ministry of Labor they just don't see the problem it's migration is not our business and then in the countries of uh, destination they see migration the same way uh, many European countries sees, see it as a problem, uh, you have to control migration and then, so the, the discussion is more focused on how can they understand that immigration brings benefit to them and, and therefore that the other ministries, not only the Ministry of Home Affairs, but also the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of uh, Education, the Ministry of Trade sometimes, uh, they all have to, to know about what are the migration effects on their sectors and uh, why it's important for them to address that in their policies and in their strategies. And um, here in Europe, the migration debates tend to be solely focused on irregular migrants coming and trying to come into uh, It's, it's tricky because if you look in an objective way um, the needs of European countries in the close future you, you see that the population is aging, uh, there are labor shortages, uh, there are growing needs for, for skilled people uh, but also unskilled people and um, and we don't have the way to solve that uh, in a very short term or even medium term uh, internally so immigration is an answer 
to uh, these issues. However, uh, there is the, the public opinion is against migration, policy makers or politicians rather, they, they really use immigration uh, as a way to say it's not our fault, it's the fault of the immigrants and therefore there is really a, a, a discrepancy between the needs of most European countries in terms of immigration and the perception and the fact that uh, people just don't want uh, immigrants. So I think that one challenge we have in the future is uh, to make understand first to policymakers and then to public opinions that it's very difficult for Europe to, to develop and to grow uh, without uh, opening the, the borders. And then we need to find the ways to, to do it. But I think there's lots of work to do in terms of uh, perceptions so that people understand that we need uh, immigration.